In this video, I will show you how to create cross stitch designs with your embroidery machine. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Darcy from Z Digitizing. Before we continue, guys, please make sure to subscribe to this channel for any upcoming videos. A cross stitch is surely among the most traditional and distinctive artistic stitching patterns existing in the embroidery field. A cross stitch is a collection of X-shaped stitches that can be designed to create a stylish look or to embroider two pieces of cloth together, either done manually or by the embroidery machine. Learning this requires some time and making a pattern and finishing a cross stitch by embroidery machine takes a bit longer. However, the result is still very visually pleasing. Cross stitching by embroidery machine can be performed on any cloth. Then you can choose an idea for either a handmade design or a cross stitch pattern on any material to create a look of the craft that is very unique. You can initiate creating a cross stitch pattern by sketching it out on paper or using some design software that you are experienced with. It means that you will get a fairly decent idea about what you can design for whenever it is done to the actual item. The first phase in creating a cross stitch pattern is deciding on a shape illustration, template, or image to place on the cloth. If you are creative, you can just use your creativity to create a special and visually pleasing cross stitch design by the embroidery machine. Here are some points to keep in mind when creating the cross stitch designs with your embroidery machines. Fabric type for cross stitching. These cross stitch patterns can be stitched on almost any fabric. If you prefer to choose an idea to fit the design's count, you can do so by aligning the cross threads with the single direction of the hoop. Linen and knit fabrics are also excellent fabric preferences. What stabilizer should I use? Always hoop the cloth with a stabilizer behind it. You may use a mesh cutaway on the back of cushions or decorative clothing if the back is not visible. For products such as towels in which the back of cloth would be visible, use a fabric type water soluble stabilizer that is easily removable. Thread type. To create the pattern of cross stitch with an embroidery machine, you must use cotton thread. Although rayons are lovely, a cotton thread, particularly a heavier one, would help your designs look more elegant. With your digital embroidery machine, you can create cross stitch patterns on your computer and move them to the machine for stitching. This video will explain to you how you can create a beautiful cross stitch pattern on your cloth by embroidery machine. Cut the required size piece of fabric and make sure to cut the fabric larger than your size of the hoop. Using a ruler, draw lines by the center of the fabric to align it with respect to the hoop. Now hoop the fabric by adjusting the drawn lines with your hoop and attach a cutaway stabilizer with fabric in the hoop. Now select the cross stitch pattern you want to embroider on the fabric from the machine. Adjust the stitch size of the cross stitch pattern as it will give a different look if the stitch size is not exactly what you want to draw. Also adjust the machine speed, usually kept slower than other embroidery works to get a perfect and neat look. Note, from our experience, the 75 over 11 size sharp needle, 40 pound weight of rayon or polyester thread, and stitch size of 16 will usually give the best result of cross stitch embroidery work. Align the needle, lower it, and confirm the dimensions. You can adjust the needle if it's not in an exact position. Now just give the command to the machine to embroider the design on the fabric. While embroidering, you will see there will be a lot of jump stitches and crosses will not be exact, but the finished look will be similar to the design you provided. Conclusion In conclusion, cross stitching with an embroidery machine can be possible with any embroidery machine. You need to get a pattern digitized for cross stitch and follow the steps explained in this video for the highest finishing results. Hope it will be helpful for you guys. If there's any questions related to this video, you can simply ask in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And finally, thanks for watching.